Hi everyone, welcome to NICU Diaries. Today we will know more about NICU team, conditions and management. Welcome sir. Thank you. Uh, to start with the question, can a baby survive without NICU? Yeah, I'll take the question. So, uh, not all babies need uh, NICU care, especially those who are born less than 34 weeks gestation, uh, those who are born uh, with a weight of less than 1.5 kgs. Uh, these babies uh, routinely need NICU care. Apart from these, any babies who have uh, certain medical conditions like infections, uh, a breathing issue from an unexpected cause. Uh, so these are the group of babies who need an ICU, uh, but yeah, not all of them. Can a baby discharge from an ICU, sir? So uh, we have uh, various criteria when we discharge, but most preterm babies, when they are about 34 weeks of gestation, or once they reach a weight about 1.5, 1.6, that's the easiest way for us to know when the baby is ready for discharge. Is continued hospitalization required after his start from NICU? Um, yeah, so there is uh, several levels of NICU like we discussed last time. So when we say level 4 NICU, that's the most sickest babies. The level 3 is uh, a little bit less intensive, okay? And when we normally uh, try and prepare babies for discharge, we try to move babies from one level of care to the other care. So the last level of care is the newborn nursery, so that we move to. Uh, it's sometimes called uh, transitional care, where we are just uh, uh, providing some feeding support for babies and uh, monitor the growth. So that is the last level of an ACU care. And beyond that time, uh, they don't need to stay in an ACU, so they can be discharged from safety. I think the NICU team includes which all healthcare providers? So, most important would be, of course, the nursing team and the doctors who are looking after the babies but also we will require experience of other allied professionals. So it varies as per the condition of the baby, but in general, at this point of time, in our uh, hospital being a multi-speciality hospital, we have all these facilities, so we can get a specialist to see uh, the babies as and when required. The next question, can you explain the role and responsibilities of a neonatologist in the NICU? Yeah, so the neonatologist, uh, although a member of the team, so the other uh, professionals like nurses, the junior doctors also play a very important role. Also in giving information to the parents in a way that uh, they understand uh, and uh, providing them uh, information and support. So this is the key roles of the neonatal consultant. Yeah, it was a lot of informative uh, session doctors. Thank you for joining with us. Mm -hmm.